Hi everyone and welcome to today's Squeezebox Advent Calendar uh, for the 22nd of uh, December. Don't forget tonight's the gig with uh, Jackie Oates. Um, we're doing our Christmas concert on uh, a YouTube live link. If you go to my website, um, uh, look in the gig section, you'll find out how to buy tickets for that. And we'd love to see you there to make you feel all Christmassy. Um, but in the meantime, I've got a box to show you. So uh, what have I got left on offer? Well, I haven't done one of these yet. Uh, this is my Hona one row four stop. It's uh, the classic uh, Hona 114 uh, model, which has uh, a proper growl box with spoons on the left hand there. You can see the, the spoon bases and the spoon air button as well. And I particularly like the spoons on, on, on a growl box because you just get that real uh, formant sound. Um, you know, if you uh, kind of go wah, wah, wah with your mouth, it sort of does that with the chords and the bases, the more, depending on how much you have the spoons open. And so you can get this really sort of lovely, sort of authentic sound. So uh, you might remember the Reese Wesson uh, one row four stop we looked at. Um, it's similar in uh, design to that, these four stops. Um, we'll have a look at what they do uh, in this section and then um, take it apart to show how that works. Uh, it doesn't have open pallets, it's got this little grill in front, um, that's typical of these honers. Uh, normal one rows would tend to have open action that you can see working and flapping about. Um, it's very narrow in this direction, you know, it's got very thin bellows frames and uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll see what it does okay so present I've got all the stops pressed in which means nothing coming through so we'll start at the bottom <laughs> Well, apart from the lovely clack, I think that's because my grill's slightly dented, um, we've got these very low notes. So that's the low read. What do we get next? So that's an octave above, so this should be a middle read. So I'm guessing this next one will be a middle read. And it is, so that gives you the tremolo. And then... This top one will bring in the high read, and if you hear that on its own, you get... Um, it's not massively squeaky. Um, on one rows, the, the, the G is the low, generally the lowest key you get, so this is a very low-pitched one row, um, and uh, I think A is probably the highest you'd get, uh, with D being somewhere in, in the middle. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's the classic sound you get with all of them done. I'll play it properly um, later, but let's take it to bits and have a look and see how this Hona 114 one row four stop um, is put together. So here we are um, with the Hona one row four stop in G and we're going to have a uh, look inside to see what's what. First thing I'm going to do is uh, because it's one row, you usually see the pallets. Um, so I'm going to take this front grill that Hona have on there off. Held in with two small screws at the sides here. There we go. Um, and so you can see the large pallets inside. Some people take uh, the grill off, which gives a bit more of a direct sound. And in fact, um, I've got a problem at the moment with the pallets hitting this grill because it's bent. Can you see it's kind of bowed in there? So I'm going to actually attempt to fix that. It's mainly just that one strut, which is doing it. And then you can just sort of push the rest out slightly like that. Put it back on. The grill is often thought of as being purely an aesthetic thing, but uh, it does have an effect on on the sound. The the more the less obstacles in between um, the reed that's sounding and the outside world, the 
more direct the sound. So there we are. And now we're not we're not hitting. Well, it's still hitting a little bit, but um, yeah, it's kind of a design flaw, really. You get that clap, that clap by hitting, but it's certainly not as bad as it was. Okay, we'll go inside the actual instrument itself um, and take these bellows straps off. Um, take off the right hand side. Uh, this is with four pins. Normally with a one row construction you'll have two big screws going through but the, the Hona one is a quite unique design and it uses pins. Oh, bellows pin still nice and tight in there. Um, right, we'll take this right hand side off. There you go. So it's a standard Hona bellows frame on this side, gaskets. Um, so here we are. It's just two reed blocks. So all these reed blocks are perpendicular to the soundboard, uh, unlike um, a lot of one rows, which will have banks which are flush with the soundboard. Um, and very simple stop mechanism is a metal slider attached to a piece of wood and the stop goes up and down um, what very often happens in these is that these stops will end up uh, losing their um, purchase on the wood and so because they're that way up often they'll fall into the instrument you'll see people with clothes pegs on here to hold them open um, it's, it's kind of a bit of a design flaw, really. Um, anyway, uh, another thing to note is that these reed blocks are glued onto the soundboard. There is no way of taking them off. So if you want to work on a reed, um, you can't take the blocks off. Another thing to point out is that sometimes you'll see instruments that have fewer stops. Um, for a while, Hona made ones with three stops, which were um, medium, medium, low reeds. And sometimes with just two stops, uh, which just took in uh, two medium reeds. Uh, but the four stop is the kind of classic. Um, and on the back, you've got the still got the unworn off writing there saying made by M. Hona, Germany, and the old anchor sign there. Ah, oh, yes, um, it's, it's mainly rubbed off by your finger use, but uh, that would have said steel reeds on individual plates because uh, back in the day that was a sign of a quality instrument steel reeds rather than brass reeds and, and uh, individual reed plates rather than a single one for the whole instrument something i haven't shown you much you can see the the steel reeds here on the low bank right down the bottom here you've got these big brass weights soldered to the um to the steel reed which uh, that has the effect of lowering the pitch from one which would just be a uniform uh, sort of piece of steel all the way to the end. The the speed it's like a pendulum effect. So the heavier it is, the slower it will uh, vibrate. And with the rest of the instrument, standard uh, one row sort of affair. The um, the reeds here are flush with the the. Um, soundboard but on little tiny uh, raised wooden blocks to wax them to. Two reeds for the bass note, three reeds for the um, chord. Uh, Hona has this uh, very classic one row four stop bellows pattern uh, with gold and orange stripes and with white bellows papers. That's almost universal on their one rows. And uh, Here's a close-up of the spoon bases and uh, these pieces of foam which have been glued onto the uh, the place where the spoon would dig into the wood. That's not original. That's been put on. Very sensible though because it uh, gives you a soft landing and doesn't foul up the um, doesn't foul up the wood and it also makes it uh, quieter to play. Right we'll put it back together again. Lovely, so we're all back together again and uh, I shall just uh, take it away and uh, play a tune on it. 
So, uh, yeah, let's see what it sounds like. Um, I'll carry on showing you the different noises the stops make. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, this is the master sound with it all out that I'm going to play it on. Um, and... You hear these lovely... ...chords that you can change the kind of quality of by... It's almost a, to me I always think they're saying the word wow. Um, so I'll play a tune for you now, this is a good old one row tune called uh, Not For Joe. There you go, the nice deeply growly and uh, very resonant sound of a Hona one row four stop. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.